attempting the huge eating challenge at the rudest restaurant in America. Oh, Dick's Last Resort. Yeah. That's, I might go back there, actually, if I'm going to Vegas. Is that in Vegas, is it? Yeah, and it's a really cool one as well, man. It's called Dick's Big Meat Challenge. You'd love that place because it's just such you <laughs> innuendos and people shouting at you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, the concept of that restaurant is that like, the staff are rude to you. It's like that Karen's Diner, isn't it? it well, in, Karen's Diner kind of copied like them. over here, yeah. Yeah, they just copied them, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's... it's I really liked it. I think the theatricality of it, a lot of people kind of whinged at it. So I'm like, oh, which is so rude. So people didn't get it despite the fact that I explained it at length at the start. Or even the people that did get it were kind of saying like, oh, this is like, this is so lame. I'm like, Wait, well, yeah, just don't go then. But I, I like the theatricality of it. I don't take myself too seriously. So yeah. people, I love the fact that she says to me at one point, yeah, she's, she was so good, the, the, the way she's there. And she kind of dropped the act at the end because like, they're, they're basically in character the whole time. They're basically surly to you from when you get in there. It's not like they just switch it on. But at the end, I just kind of sincerely try to say it because I knew it was a great video because of all the uh, insults and whatnot. I just thought, thank you very much. I know you kind of got to be mean and everything, but you were really great in that video and everything. And thank you. And she was like, oh, you know, it's okay. And I was like, oh, she kind of dropped character for a bit. But um, she was great. I, I get they've probably got rehearsed lines, but there's a lot of stuff like, like she's caused my elbows crusty. Can I get it uh, well done? Oh, hell no. So dry like your elbows. <laughs> Yeah, look at that, crusty. And it was just, I had me fucking rolling, man. But uh, the food itself, I expected the food to kind of suck. You know what I mean? I thought like, oh, this, the gimmick of this place is this and the food will be shit. But the food is really good. And it's, it's a cool challenge. It's like a big, it's like a 48 ounce steak. Uh, you get like a big, uh, Dick's Big Wiener, which is like a big sausage. And then a bunch of sides, you get like uh, broccoli and mash and stuff. And it tastes really, really good. And it's big as well, but it's one of those, like I, I mentioned before, it's big, but you want to keep eating it because it's so many different things and all the food's good. I really love that video. That's the kind of video that would be so much better with it. You know, when people talk about the videos with the crew, yeah. and that would just be so much better with the crew. Like I did my best with it and I was happy with it. But um, yeah, I really like that. that that's one of my favorite uh, episodes. And, would but there that, sort of be a reason to go back in terms of like to beat your time or to... I wouldn't want to do it just to beat my... What's the point in doing that? But like, if I ever did the... Have you done Karen's Diner though? No, they don't have a food challenge. Yeah, True. But like, I wouldn't just go that way. Plus, like, have you ever seen the commitment to them? They don't even wear like the proper like gear from the original Karen's Diner. They wear like butcher's aprons and stuff, and it just looks so lame. I do um, think though, like from watching this, the insults in America are far tamer than when you like watch videos of people going to Karen's Diner. It's like, but they're, bring, they're bringing their nans and like, oh god, I've never been. I fancy it. I think there's some like ingenuity though. Like I think like, the ones I've seen at Karen's Diner, they just like swear at them and like, yeah, it's, so it's, it's, it's just crass. Whereas there, uh, they're kind of like, smart. I know they've got go-to lines. Like, like, it was funny when, because um, obviously I wear skinny jeans a lot, which I shouldn't. <laughs> but she's like, your jeans are. She's like, oh my god, your drink, your jeans are as stressed as a kitchen staff now. You've ordered this freaking meal. I thought skinny jeans was a classic look. Oh yeah. Freaking meal. I'm like, that's, you've got to have some kind of skill to work there. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I was thinking like, I bet it'd be fucking ace working there. I, after a part, part of time, you probably fucking hate yourself. Yeah. But at the start, but it's a proper laugh. That's probably like the perfect job for you, to be honest. Yeah, just insulting just people. Get to but, nah. rude to people all day and it, get paid for it. What I thought was lame though, is like when you, you saw the rest other families going in there and like they're trying to get, they, they're like giving it back to the staff and I'm like, that's just, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, really the game. Yeah. It. And you get like, I, I saw like, while I was there, because I didn't leave straight away and I didn't start filming straight away. And I saw like the families would come in and the dad would always be like giving it back to and you'd be like, shut up, man. Like, that's, like when take the, it. that's like when people go watch stand-up comedy and they try to like heckle. Yeah. Guy. It's like, you're never going to, you're never going to say something funnier than the man on stage. The professional comedian. With a fucking microphone. But yeah. like, everyone's just do think that they can like try and take over the show, don't they? Yeah. But that, it was, it was cool. I'd love to, if I ever got the opportunity to do uh, like my favorite food challenges in America, <laughs> but with a crew, don't get excited. I'd do that one. I'd do Kendall's in uh, Oklahoma. And I'd probably do, uh, I'd love to go back and shoot at, don't make any jokes, Heart Attack Grill uh, with a crew. That'd be a laugh. Um, the, the I think if you... But like, imagine the travel there, how, how expensive that'd be. If you shot charge an arm and a leg like, to, to film like down the fucking street. Everyone get your violins out for the fucking guy with four and a half million subscribers. And <laughs> how, many, how many millions of views a month? I don't know. Like You've done a billion a views. Lot. Like somebody can do the maths. So he's doing all right, uh, but it would look good, wouldn't it? it like obviously, we're not going to do go do it. But if you did crude videos in America, 
they was like, if you look at how, well, you've not seen it yet, but the one, how good was it in that restaurant for, with the pancake challenge? You don't need to convince they, me, man. I know they better. Because the Americans did just, did just play up to every aspect of it. You'd, you'd get every angle and every reaction that you'd need mm. to make a proper well-rounded video. We could maybe do that. I reckon that's, that's a possibility. If I'm still doing this, say, maybe not next year, because we've got like some, a little series planned for next year, right? Mm. But if that goes all right and people enjoy it, maybe 2026, we go back out, do maybe say fa- the five best ones in America, a little road trip. That'd be good, wouldn't it? There you go. Yeah, man. That'd be cool.